What's good, y'all? It's your girl, K Monique, in here. So, I wanted to give you guys, like, my experience on not taking flu shots because I know there's a lot of things being spread around about different things being talked about when it comes to taking your flu shots that it gives you autism and, um, you know, all this crazy stuff. It doesn't help you, all that kind of stuff. But, um... I just wanted to give you guys what I, it was just crazy I went one year without taking a flu shot like September will be a year because technically I think flu season starts September October and that's when everybody gets their shots and stuff so <clears throat> I just want to give you guys the rundown of what the hell I've been going through when it comes to this so this is not edited, clean cut, you know, I got to keep it lit, so. But, first these first. If you are the type of person that's like, immune system is like, weak as fuck, I would not. I would continue to take my flu shots, like, for real. Like, even though you get sick, like, this is just my opinion. I'm not 100% sure Barbatum or whatever, but... How I feel about it is basically like, yeah, you get sick once you take your flu shot, but it kind of helps. I feel like it does for me because my immune system is weak. So, <laughs> I don't know. Like, this year, not even, yeah, this past year when I didn't take my flu shot, Oh my god, my body went through so many different changes. It was just, It was ridiculous. Like whew, I felt like I was every time I did get sick, I only I think I only got sick maybe two times. That was the pro of it though. <clears throat> of not taking a flu shot for me, I think I only got sick Twice, if I'm not mistaken, this year, twice or three times, but um, but when I did get sick though, those times I did get sick, it lasted longer. It felt like either that or just paid too much attention to being sick, because you know how sometimes when you're sick, you be thinking like, oh my god, the times that I were able to breathe and able to shout and sing stuff like that, <laughs> yeah, that was on my mind. But I mean. It was a crazy experience. Like, I couldn't, I don't know. Because, I mean, it's a 50-50, you know, feeling. Because, like I said, it could possibly help you. You don't get autism. I don't know where the hell they got that from. That's complete bullshit. But, <laughs> you know, I don't know where they got that part from. That was just completely outrageous but okay party people <clears throat> okay that's just a little too much but okay but it's really no proof of that so that's why I'm saying it's kind of outrageous either that or I just looked over that but taking a flu shot honestly me like I've been feeling uncomfortable this whole time this whole year I haven't taken a flu shot it was just like oh my god I feel so weird without taking a flu shot <laughs> And plus, I got sick. Not sick like <laughs> sick. I mean sick like somebody passed me a bucket sick. And anybody that knows me personally knows that my phobia is vomit. And I don't like being that, that sick. So, I was annoyed by that. But I think it was because of something that I ate. Well, obviously it was. But, I mean, damn. The last time I got sick like that, like not just vomiting sick was two years ago and that was because it was like basically my nephew came home and they didn't clean their his cups and stuff like that my nephew has autism himself and flu shots ain't had nothing to do with him having autism but okay that's another story but um he his cups was dirty they didn't clean they not too cleanly at the elementary school he was going to so he got sick, and then once he got sick, we found out it was a virus, and then everybody else got sick. That was the last time I got sick like that, and whew, that was terrible. 
And I wasn't even at home when I got that sick. So that was the even colder part. But but taking the, not taking a flu shot, that was a hell of experience because not only did I didn't get sick as much as I would with the flu shot, literally, I don't know if it's because I pay too much attention to my body, but literally I felt my body doing some stuff. And it was like, what is my body doing? Like, you know, my body's not used to not having flu shots. So, each year I take my flu shots. But the thing that I did to calm my um, allergies and stuff down was obviously allergy medicine. It, The one I personally use is Coracinin. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's the one that basically says if you... Um, have high blood pressure, then it's cool. You know, I don't have high blood pressure. I don't have high blood pressure, but I use it and it works. So, but um, that was pretty much about it. I don't, you know, I haven't, I haven't got no flu shot in a year, and it was just a crazy experience. My body was going through so many different changes. My body was literally like, "Bitch, what the fuck is you doing? <laughs> you need a flu shot." And probably the next question people are going to be asking me is, are you going to take a flu shot this year? I'm just a guy, I don't even know. I'm on the fence because, like I said, it's 50-50 and pros and cons, you know. But I'm not 100% sure. So, <laughs> I don't know. It just depends on how I feel. I probably feel a little bit more comfortable, though, having my flu shots. But at the same time, this experience, I have no idea. I'm so confused. <laughs> I, I I have no clue what to do at this point when it comes to that now. It's a crazy experience because I literally did see all these articles and stuff and um, <clears throat> posts on social media and stuff like that about the flu shot. But the autism part didn't get me. It was the other stuff that it was bringing up. But, um... You know, I decided, hey, let me try this one time. And plus, I forgot and didn't feel like going to the doctor. And I haven't been to the doctor in a very long time as well, probably a year. But, because <laughs> I don't know about anybody else, but these doctors, they don't be telling you the right information or telling you any information at all. That's why I kind of stopped messing with the doctors like that, because it's ridiculous. Like, it, it doesn't make any sense. Anybody that knows... What I'm talking about, y'all feel me. But, um, that was a hell of an experience not taking a flu shot. I mean, <laughs> that was crazy. But, hey, I'm still deciding whether I'm going to take it again this year or not. So, we'll see. But, I finna skedaddle and be on my way out this piece. You know what I'm saying? So, if you are new... Like, subscribe, comment if you join my video or videos. I have more than one. Uh, feel free to watch those and share those if you want to as well. I will be trying to come back on here a little bit more often than I used to because I know I've been M.I. to the motherfucking A for a very long time. <laughs> so, any of you guys that have been there since day one, probably since I was 16 years old, now I'm 22, thank you so much for supporting me and subscribing to my channel. Um... Everybody have a nice blessed day and I'm out this. Peace.